Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this video is going to showcase my rectangular wooden sifting trays. Um, this is actually where this entire company began. Uh, back in 2017, I wanted to find a way to sift out pupa. And so I used a 3D modeling program on the computer and I 3D printed this prototype. This is my original tray. Eventually it might show up in some museum, I'm sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but this is my original tray. Um, and from there, realizing that 3D printing was really slow and really expensive compared to laser cutting, I have then transitioned to laser cutting so that I can sell these to other mealworm farmers. Then we had the small, the medium, the large, that's the giant, and then there is a extra large, which is about the size of this entire thing, uh, that I now sell out of the uh, wooden rectangular trays. I sell out of birch, which is like a plywood. Uh, there's also uh, MDF, which is a pressed um, wood composite. The MDF, by the way, is on sale all of this month. I'm going to start it tonight, but all MDF... Uh, trays and materials are on sale on my website. Um, so check those out. It, it works just as good as uh, Birch does, but it's just a little bit cheaper. It cuts really nicely too. What I'm going to do today is show you these trays in action. I have some mealworms in substrate, and there's a few pupa in here, as you can see. No beetles. We don't want to use the pupa sifter with beetles. The idea is to use the pupa sifter to sift out all the pupa to put them in a separate tray so that the beetles don't mix with the worms. So um, if you don't have a sifting tray for, for pupa and this is your very first time sifting, ideally try to pick out all the beetles by hand because beetles are really clingy and they will grab onto the slots here and you'll have more frustration than you will success. These are not meant to sift out beetles they're meant to sift out pupa. So I have my bowl here, and I'm simply going to put it into the tray. The tray walls are three inches tall, most of them. Um, some are three and a half, actually. So they can handle quite a bit. And as you have it in the tray, if you just let it sit there, eventually stuff starts to fall, but this takes a little while. If you just give it a gentle shake, Number one, it'll sift it faster, but number two, it'll prevent the worms from clinging on to the wooden slats like the beetles like to do. I then move it around a little bit. The worms is what I'm trying to get out. You can see already hundreds of beetles, or not beetles, hundreds of pupa right there already getting stuck. But I see like one worm that I'm trying to get out. Come on, little guy. All right. So there we go. Look at all of those pupa that I have. If I were to pick all of these, these uh, pupa out by hand, it would maybe take a half hour at most um, for this amount. And a lot of you have a lot more than this amount. A lot of you have 10 times this amount. So having a pupa sifting tray definitely makes getting your pupa out a little bit faster. But then we have a problem. Do you see it? There's pupa that are stuck in the slats. If I turn them over, you can see a little bit better here. Um, it really isn't a problem. It's just part of your routine after you're done sifting out the pupa. You're going to have just a small amount. Again, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of the hundreds that are here that don't quite fall through. They're at that weird sh uh, size that they just don't fall through. Um, and there's a couple strategies to fix them. You just carefully poke it back in. Or what I do is I take the slot and I just slightly just bend it. All you need is just a little bit of bending and it falls right through. Not much at all, not much effort. And now I have a clear tray. Again, we have lots and lots of pupa in here. Falling through, we have substrate. We have worms. And I'm looking for any pupa that might've fallen through. I don't think I see a single pupa. Oh, there's one. One little pupa went all the way through. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, here he is. And if you look at him, he's a baby. He's a tiny. So is this 100% perfect? No. 
but sometimes you have undersized pupa. Now, it's up to you what you do with this. Some farmers, to try to raise the size and increase the size of their worms, they'll just give this to their chickens or birds or throw it out in the field um, because you don't want small genetics in your population. Others of you, you don't care, and you'll just let this turn into a beetle and let this continue to lay eggs. Not a big deal. So it's up to you what you want to do with these small pupa. Again, I'm looking at... Here, I thought I saw one more pupa. Yep, one more baby pupa. And that's it. The rest are just worms and substrate. Completely sifted in just a matter of seconds. Now again, this is just a small bowl. Some of you have large trays like this black tray filled and then trays and trays of this. So if you have a larger amount, the smaller sifter, not gonna cut it for you. You're gonna want to get a larger size. Uh, when I had um, probably 20,000 worms a, a week that I was uh, creating, I used the extra large pupa sifter. And again, I can great, uh, fill entire tubs into it in one go, and in less than a minute, I have thousands and thousands of pupa that have been sifted. So again, these are the wooden rectangular pupa sifters. You saw it in action. I could do it again with any of these other trays. Not just the small that works. Let's try the large. Just pour the whole thing right in. A little bit of side by to side action. I like to give it like a 90 degree turn or 180 degree turn. And again, just in, what was that, 20 seconds? All these people got to it out. Then don't forget the step to turn it over. Just pick out your little pupa. You can tickle them. If you don't shake vigorously enough, you might get a couple worms. See how there's one, two, three worms that have clung on to your tray. If you shake them enough, they don't have the ability to, to hold on to the tray. And so you just have to find that happy medium, that right amount of vigorousness, is that the word? Uh, to shake your sifter so that the beetles fall through um, and not the, and not hang on to it, I guess. All right, so there's a couple trays in action. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and again, all MDF is on sale the entire month of March. No, not March, we're in April now. The entire month of April, 2024. Um, so check them out. Take care.